Now welcome back to my channel and we are still working on this problem and we have been able to uh, produce the auxiliary uh, plan. So now I want to show you how you can produce the auxiliary uh, elevation, the auxiliary elevation. So as I said, that for us to produce the auxiliary elevation, we are going to project lines from each point on the plan or this point that I'm touching, we are going to project lines at uh, a right angle to the given uh, plane. So this plane now is at angle 60 degree to the horizontal. So I'm going to draw to the plane. Okay. So this is a uh, plane uh, X, plane X2, plane X2, Y2 x to y2 so this is x1 and y1 so as we have used this before so i'm going to draw so since the plane is inclined at an angle 60 degree to the horizontal so i'm going to draw a line perpendicular to this plane so uh, with the 30 degree side of my self square i will draw this line and so coming to this point so i'll draw the line like this then from this point I will draw the line. Um, so then from this point, I'm going to draw a line. So from this point, I will draw a line. And from this point here, I will draw a line like this. So all these lines are perpendicular to the given plane X2, Y2. So then for us to continue with the work, so the next thing that we are going to do is that so from this point here i will draw a line out of this point and uh, from this point to draw a line in this direction i will come up here and draw a line in this direction so after you have done this so you draw a perpendicular line just move away a little bit and draw a perpendicular line so um so this is a perpendicular line so this point so i will call this point i will call it uh, this is, I'll call this point, I'll call it point A. So this point, I'll call it point B. And this point here, I'll call it point C here. So I will take my uh, my compass. So I'll take my compass. Okay. So then I'll put the pinpoint of the compass at point A and extend to point B. Extend to point B. Then I'll put at this point here. So I'll make an arc here. Make an arc here like this. So I will still need to extend uh, this line. So I'll still need to extend this line. Alright, so now, so this is... Here now this is point A and this is point B. So then, so I will also take a distance of AC. So from here to here. So I'll put that point A here and I'll make an arc here. So this is point C. So you can see here. So the next thing I'm going to do is that, so with 60 degree side of my cell square, with 60 degree side of my cell square so i'm going to draw a line from this point c down here and i would also draw it from point sorry that's from point b so from point c down so with what i have here so I'll, i'm going to bring out the auxiliary elevation so when we are looking at this object in this direction we are looking at it in this direction so what are we going to see? We are going to see the whole of this. So I showed you the isometric view of the object when we produce the auxiliary uh, plan. So this is the isometric view. Okay. So distance from this point to this point is distance from here to here. Distance from here to here. Distance from this point to this point is distance from here to here. So all you need to do now to locate this point so for this point so just go up like this so when you get to this point you put a dot at this point on a don't forget that this line is on a so from here to here is on a so and then this point also so you move from this line 
so you go up so we have this point like this so i can join this together because if you look at it from year to year is a thick line so i will join this together with a thick line so i want to be bringing it out one by one so you make this line you make it a thick line like this from year to year and then if you look at it at this point so we have this vertical line that goes up like this a thick line so it is the line that goes from this point a down to point c or up to point c so i can make this line i can make it a thick line like this okay i can make it a thick line all right so and then so if you look at uh this point that we have here so it is here it is here so we have a short vertical line from here to here from this point b to point c so all i need to do is to go up on this line then when i get to point b so this point on point b so we have it we have it here and then it moves up and goes to point c so we have it at this point so all i need to do i will join this together so this is a thick line as we have it in the main diagram so this is a thick line and then so this comes down so from year to year so it's a thick line so we stop it there so i believe you are following what i'm doing here okay so having obtained this having obtained this so now so this line that we drew here let me show you in the diagram so this is it from year to year this is the line okay now uh let's get uh this surface that we have here this surface that we have here that is this rectangle that we have here that we can see here so how can we get that out so it's from this point so if you look at it from this point to this point like this so we need to locate this point to locate this point i will just go up on this line so and this is the point on a and it goes up it goes up so from here to here that is it goes up from uh from point a to point b so all i need to do is to locate it right here this is the point then we also have it so this point here we have already located that then it goes up to point to point b so we have it we have it at this point here so all i need to do is to bring this out and then this line that we see here this line that we see here is at this point so following this this is the line this time from here to here so i'll just join this together join this together like this then i will join this together like this then i will join this together then i will join this together okay so the rectangle has come out as you can see there then now if you look at what we have here so we have produced this surface you have produced this surface that you see here so this line that goes like this you have brought it out that's what you see here okay all right so i need to make this this is a thick line it should be taken from here to here okay so we have brought it out this shape that you see here this shape that you see here is what we have produced here and this rectangle that you see here is what you have produced here then what about this rectangle we can see this rectangle too we can see this rectangle so where is this rectangle now so this rectangle is distance from here to here distance from here to here is distance from here to here so all i need to do now for, so for this one i've already located that but for this one and if you look at it so the rectangle is on top of this surface that means it's around here so if i go up like this from this point so this is the starting point and it goes up to point c here okay so the rectangle has come out already so all i need to do is to join this together Okay, then I will connect this together like this. Okay, so it has come out. But we are not done. There's something that we have here. So this point it is hidden from me. I can't see it. So where is this point in the main isometric object? So this is the point. The line is supposed line is here. So we can't see it. It's hidden from where we have the same line at this point. It's hidden from us. So we need to show it hidden in the auxiliary elevation i'll go just go up here so starting from here and it goes here to, to this point so i will use short dashes line to show this all right so that is it so 
this is the auxiliary elevation and this is the auxiliary plan and don't forget that this auxiliary plan is the first auxiliary plan and this auxiliary elevation is the first auxiliary elevation please let's keep that in mind thank you for watching and thank you for listening keep on practicing and god bless you